colorization of black and white images sometimes feels like bringing history back to life. And that's not just famous historical images, but maybe also someone you hold dear to. And seeing it get colorized just feels like you are reliving that exact moment. The pleasantness just hits differently when they are colored. As manually colorizing is really time consuming and costly, AI colorization has been a great alternative that has been developed and improved over the years. Since there are a lot of different colorization AI floating around the internet, I am going to test out and review a total of 10 colorization AIs that I found worth testing and listed here as you can see. How this is going to work is that I will test out all these AIs, cut off any that can perform properly on the samples I chose, and compare the good performing ones and list out the winners in three categories, best free colorization, best paid colorization, and the best one overall. Keep in mind that this video is made as of the time that this video is published, any AI release after this time is not being considered, and I might also miss out some pre-existing AIs too, so please give me the benefit of the doubt as these kinds of stuff are pretty difficult to find. All colorization AIs that are presented here are models that do not require a reference image. Basically just color it on the spot, unlike some AI that you can choose the colors or use a reference image. And these are sample images which will be used to test the AIs. A close up of Merlin Monroe to check the ability to colorize facial details, a picture of Martin Luther King Jr. with a big crowd blended with a lot of trees to assess the ability to colorize precisely, and a colored image of a Seattle market that I made into black and white image to compare with the end result of the best AI to see if the colorization can really accurately predict how the colors are actually look like in real life, along with small details like the fruits and signs to give the AIs a harder time. I originally also wanted to do colorizing videos but some AI does not provide colorization for videos and there are multiple methods that a video can be colorized so I think it should be another topic for another day. For my assessing criteria, all AI should pass the test of colorizing all three images so they will be deemed a failure if they cannot do it even if it can colorize some images really well. This is because you wouldn't want to run your images through an AI and feel like playing a roulette needing to bet if your image will be colorized very well, colorized or not colorized at all. Alright, I finished colorizing all three of the images on all 10 of these AIs. I've ranked them in order and the failed category we will be listed out first before the working ones. In the last and 10th place, we have fully automatic video colorization with self-regularization and diversity. Let's just call this FAVC in short. Right behind 9th place, Chrome again. As you can see here, FAVC wasn't able to fully colorize the images and Chrome again is at least able to give a good colorization for the face. In the 8th place, we have Colorful Image Colorization. It's a paper from 2016 and I think it's the oldest one right here. The face is not fully colorized but still a bit better than Chroma Gain as it also has the right color tone for market and for Dr. King's image. In the 7th place, we have Vegas Pro 18. They recently released a deep learning model for colorization and can easily be used like a filter as you can see here. I used the 30 days trial for Vegas Pro 18, so this is the first paid colorization service. The previous two are papers that publish their codes on GitHub for demo use by the way. And back to Vegas, there are also parameters you can adjust for the colorization too. But they are not exactly good, but at least it can colorize Merlin Monroe's face and Dr. King himself, but not the crowds. It barely colorized the market too. So in the sixth place, we have Remini's colorization function. I downloaded an Android M Emulator to use it because it is on the Google Play Store and you can only get 5 free trials for all their functions. It does really well on Dr. King though, it's just the crowd has a really high color contrast and work decently on the market, just miss colors for the fruits and some signs. But it barely colorizes the face though, <laughs> which is really confusing. So Remini is ranked the first in the failed section but 6 overall. I know some of you may complain why Remini is ranked so low but it AI is a matter of consistency, and I can't also go back on my words I said when I made the rules, so yeah. There are also still better ones than Remini too, so not so quick. In the section is where it colorized all the photos, coming in the fifth place we have Instance Aware Image Colorization, IAIC in short. A paper released this year comparing to the fourth place Mail.ru, a web service for colorization. I don't know why the collab gives me results that are downscaled for instant 
an aware image colorization, but that doesn't really matter as it is obvious that Mel.ru outperforms IAIC and you can clearly tell that Mel.ru did fully colorize the images too, which IAIC didn't. Third place and second place is a tie actually since they are both using the same codes. It is the Odify Colab version and the Odify on Deep AI colorization. So using it on Colab has the same effect as using it on Deep AI. But since Deep AI colorization has a better user interface and process speed, Deep AI would come in second and the Colab version would be in third. Originally, I thought they would produce slightly different results, but nope, that did not happen. They produce exactly the same and, well, using the exact same model too. The reason why Deodify is better than Mel.ru is that it is clearly better at handling small details, like the crowds, the fruits, and the signs in the Seattle market. Kit, but colorizing the face of Miss Monroe loses to Mel.ru. In the first place, we have MyHeritage, an AI improved from the Odify, and it is a paid web service. The reason why MyHeritage's AI is better than the Odify is that the color is more consistent as you can see on the market's floor. The details like the signs are fully colored and the fruits actually look like fruits now, and no longer look like they have mold on them anymore. The crowd's faces are also colored consistently, their clothes and faces are actually colored and the contrast is toned down. Even though there are still some colors that are not as accurate, but generally it produces a more realistic color tone. The face is colorized more believably, and the important features like the eyes and the mouth have more accurate colors than previous AIs. Last but not least, as the first place AI compared the colorized market to the original image still shows a pretty big difference. But it is understandable as the color tone and orange highlights are really difficult to be spotted from a black and white image for AI to reproduce. And other than missing out some more orange veggies back there, my heritage AI still made a really good prediction of the fruit colors and it's just really impressive after seeing 9 AIs failing to do so. And this one is able to roughly guess the right color of the original image of the fruits. Same goes to some of the signs and clothes colors. Well, from here, I think I can also conclude a few points. First, my heritage came out on top as the best colorization AI and the best paid colorization AI, while the Odify is the best free colorization AI. Second, colorization perfectly like the original can also be seen as nearly impossible, but at least having an ability to depict something that was not colored and given ways to imagine a scenery other than just in a black and white way may serve comfort to our hearts or provide lessons more vividly that we need to engrave into our hearts. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these kind of comparison contents, leave a like and comment down below. I recently started a Patreon account. Check it out if you are interested. Follow me on Twitter and join my Discord if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time.